Hey Forest family, it's Monday, I hope I find you well. Um, I'm just down doing a bit of practicing, chilling down on the floor. The house is a little quiet today so I'm taking advantage of that. But what I wanted to, to show you is that at the moment what I'm actually practicing is different whippings. There's the standard kind of paracord whip that you see everybody kind of do, but there is different variations of how to whip it, some with a full loop and so on. You can see that's what I was trying to practice here. But when I was looking around, I found this really interesting way of attaching uh, jib sheets to rope or really quick ways to attach jib sheets on boats. Now, in my other videos on my YouTube channel, I have shown these methods, but all these methods require that your rope are of a certain gauge thickness. Today, I only had jute twine, which is what most people carry. I only had to hand this really narrow gauge uh, bank line um, to hand, but I wanted to try something because when you just uh, slip your bowline up through here and you either like common practice would pass the rope through it, pull it tight and it all bite down. That's cool. I, I use that method all the time, but I hate if I have to detach it quick, you got to pull all six foot of cord back out through the loop and you know, bring it up half the forest floor, which you as well, if you're in a spruce forest, like I do be myself. The other method is to put the loop through here, get a stick, pull it through. But again, sometimes I'm dealing with dead deciduous material or I have to, uh, leave my tarp and go snap a branch off or, or something like that. So what popped into my head was is that normally on these attachments, because the rope is what holds it in, you only see the whipping just down here and then the gauge of the rope holds it in. So I thought, well, if I whip the entire knot just up to around here to still allow it to move, um, it, it would act as a stick, kind of like a pre-made stick attached to my, to my loop because I do leave my guy lines on my tarp. This is a new grabber blanket. So that's why I'm kind of dickying this out. But I've got no tripod with me either. So please, please bear with me. I'll I'll hold you through my knees and I'll show you how, how this works. Come here. So you can see I have one big loop, big open loop, which I've whipped and I'm practicing a different method of whipping. That's why this one is, is a bit kind of scooby doobious, but that's what practice is all about. And then this one is just your standard, standard whip that everybody would, would see on axe handles and how the paracord whip staffs. But this one I left a little tight here. And what that allows it to do is just freely move around this loop. And if you had paracord or or better rope than I'm using, you, you could kind of see the method to that. But how I would attach it to my tarp then is just to bring that loop down and then make a bit of a bite. Apologies for being all fingers and thumbs, but this rope seems to have sticks in it. And again, bringing up the forest floor when I go. So taking my uh, hole or grommet, I'll pass the big loop through it. Sorry, it's not center screen. And then because I don't have to go find a stick or look for a stick, because I've already pre-made one that's attached, I just simply take it over the top, pass it through there, and then just pull it all back through. And you see it slides up here and all bites down. And then because of that whip, that's not going to come through. It's actually unbelievably tight, so tight that I'm, I'm pretty convinced that I could rip the eyelets out of this tarp if I wanted to, especially you can kind of hear it going, going there. So I don't want to do that because this is this is my emergency one that's only brand new. So it is super tight. And then when you got a fast access or fast egress, you can just slip it off the top and away you go. So no fiddling for sticks or tent pegs, no having to pull rope back through the eye like we would normally do. Just a very simple... Oh, I actually did. There you go. Simple up. Put your, your stick through, your, your pre-made stick, your faux stick. There it is. Sorry, I'm working through the viewfinder. And then it'll all bite down. And you're good to go. So just, just something different, not something I see in the space. And I like this because I like to leave my guy lines on my tarp um, and leave them all nice and neat. And this is a nice handy method should I need to get them off quick. Or if I just want to want to have something a bit more fancy about the place. Just because it's in the sailing world doesn't mean it be in the bushcraft world and, and vice versa. We all help each other in the outdoors. So there you go. Just something a little simple. Hope everybody's okay and everybody's New Year's is starting off uh, with a somewhat decent start considering the current climate. But as always, keep layering, keep sharing. Peace.